it. You know it's the favorites from the title. This necklace that I'm wearing right now, um, I've been obsessed with it. It literally goes with everything. It even goes with, like, I like to pair gold and uh, silver together. This, this is a Tiffany's necklace. And then I have this. I got it from a place called Akira when I was in Chicago. And I'll try to link on my blog post, like, similar items. I don't even know. Like, I think this is supposed to be like an Egyptian eye or like an evil eye or something. I just really, really love it. It just kind of dresses up any outfit and um, it's really understated for it being such a statement piece. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's that. This Kate Spade iPhone case, um, I actually ended up getting the iPhone 6S Plus. And it is incredible, um, but I'll talk about that maybe in a blog post. But this case, I really love it because I'm able to still see the gold. I actually had the rose gold, um, <laughs> and I gave it to Jay because he really wanted it, and I didn't mind the gold. Um, now this case, I got it from Kate Spade, and I mean, I just love going in to Kate Spade. Um, it comes in packaging like this. I actually got this one on sale. If I can find the sale one, I'll link it below. This was $32, um, and they used to sell them at Apple, and then they just stopped. So I was on the hunt to get that case, and I mean, you just, I mean, when you're walking around with a Kate Spade bag, you just, oh, it just makes you feel so good and fancy. The next thing is Scent Bird. Scent Bird, Scent Bird. While I open this, I'll explain. Um, I love fragrance. Let me show you guys my fragrance collection real quick. <laughs> These are all of my fragrances, and it's heavy. I have a lot of them, um, and I'm still looking for another place to um, put them since I moved. I love fragrance, guys. Um, I have my favorites, but I'm always on the hunt to find something new and I'm kind of looking for a signature fragrance. My girl Sandy talks about it all the time, Socialite Sandy or the Socialite Life here on YouTube and I subscribed. I subscribed and I have gotten three different subscriptions. Um, they come once a month. They typically ship out on like the 15th and I get mine in between the 20th and the 25th about. Your very first one comes with this sort of velvet um, casing and then okay so <laughs> you get this thing right here and it holds all of your scents from here on out all of your scents they come in um, these perfume bottles and they're at least 30 days worth of scent I have Giorgio Armani I have Moschino Pink Bouquet Jimmy Choo Flash and of the three the Moschino Pink Bouquet is my absolute favorite I actually keep wearing it. I'm wearing it today. Oh, I am horrible about like since this one smells kind of citrus and floral at the same time to me. Okay, so <laughs> if you go to Sephora or you go to Nordstrom or Bloomingdale's, I mean fragrances are really 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 expensive. Um especially when you want designer fragrance that's not going to fade. And even the roller balls are like $25. So I'm all about $14.95 a month to try a new fragrance. You can cancel at any time. And I have like a referral link down, down below. Um, check it out. Just check it out. You guys can sign up for like one month if you want to. And can you really can cancel anytime, but this is how I feel about um, a fragrance. Okay, you know when you have a bomb outfit on, right? And you're like walking through, like, okay, let, no, let's, let's, let's say someone else. This girl, she has the most bomb outfit on, right? She's walking through and then she like passes and it's just like this amazing fragrance. It just leaves you thinking about that person. I mean, <laughs> like, that's how I feel about men. That's how I feel about myself. Like, I want to be the woman that walks by and leaves this like trail of like, what was that? You know, and the person just looks and it's like, wow, that girl looked great. She smelled good. I want to be that person at all times, if possible. So that's why I subscribe to Scentbird. Um, I like variety. I'm looking for my fra my uh, signature fragrance. And I think you guys should check it out. Check out my link down below. Um, thank you also for Scentbird for sending this to me. They did actually send me the first few, but I have subscribed myself. I don't want to recommend something that I wouldn't spend my own money on and I can't wait to show you guys what I have in the future. The next thing I've been wearing is these 
These are actually Tommy Hilfiger um, shoes and you know they really are reminiscent of Sperry's. Every time I wear them everyone thinks I'm wearing Sperry's which I'm not mad at but something that I've been sort of um, exploring is comfortability. Just being comfortable and fashionable at the same time and honestly all summer long I was wearing these and then these can even transition into fall and they've kind of become my style now which is so weird because I'm typically I like I'm all about the heels and then I have like one pair of gym shoes that I also wear for work um, those of you follow me on snapchat knows exactly what those shoes are and so I, I when I want to be comfortable I'm either wearing these or like a pair of Keds or my sneakers and these are like a dressed up sneaker that I'm, I'm just I'm kind of obsessed with um, and they look better than any Sperry that I've seen so far so um, I yeah I'm gonna link these as well lips all I've been doing is wearing the bold lip um, I've kind of been simplifying my style a bit lately I mean don't like don't pay attention to my last fashion vlog because that was just full of statement pieces um, but I, I guess what I mean is that I've been kind of dressing a bit more casual something that I can like pair heels with as well as some flats uh, dressy flats or kind of sperry like loafers um, and because of that I still want to stay chic and kind of glam so I've been doing dark lipstick and honestly I can put on a t-shirt put my hair back in a bun as I've been wearing and put on a dark lipstick and then my glasses these are Warby Parker by the way I'll link these down below um, and I just instantly look like I tried I've been extremely busy uh, lately <laughs> I've started blogging um, you guys know that I launched my website a few months ago and going into the whole blogging thing and doing YouTube and still having a job um, it's been a lot more work than I anticipated and so I I'm really just trying to find pieces in fashion um, that either dress up something very simple or are gonna be sort of simple and stylish at the same time um, so that I can like stay looking good but I can like move at a moment a moment's notice. This is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl in Style Milk. I will stand by this. It's 100% natural. Um, it has, it, it gives so much shine and moisture. I use this every single night. It has coconut oil, silk protein, and neem oil. I always mention this. You can get this on Amazon. I will link it down below. I'll link it on my blog. You guys, if you have not tried this out, you definitely should. Um, it's 10 bucks typically um, sometimes you can find it for cheaper on Amazon so check that out I, I use this every single night I've been wearing my hair literally in a bun um, as a protective style um, one because I just don't have time to do anything else um, two because it still looks good and chic I just put a little part and then put a hat on or I just wear it the way that it is put some studs in or some hoops it doesn't matter I like keeping my hair protected and moisturized so this is what I use and you guys um, definitely check out my website I work really hard and also my Instagram if you go and you look at my Instagram like the quality of the photos has definitely bumped up I have been really um, enjoying taking photographs of either myself and my style um, for my my website and my blog as well as um, for Instagram and uh, just getting more in depth with just the images and, and um, guys I, I don't even know how to explain it blogging and Instagram versus YouTube is like two separate worlds that just work hand in hand and obviously the stuff on my plate is a lot more so um, when you guys check it out and you leave comments on my website or you you know follow me on Instagram and you leave comments there or likes or whatever it, it really does mean a lot and I think any of you guys out there um, who do blogging or YouTube or you have an Instagram feed that you work really hard on you guys know what the comments mean and the love mean and you guys the views on YouTube all of that means so much to me because it makes me feel like what I'm doing is worth it um, especially when I get to see you guys comments 
With that being said, <laughs> check this stuff out down below. Um, check out Synthbird, subscribe there, and I'll see you guys next Thursday. <laughs> Mwah!